Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Join a trip to a sound mind and body with PE Ride. In this class, we will go through a journey to help you achieve a healthier lifestyle. I am Teacher Del El Rafon of Bignay National High School, your PE body here on FB Valenzuela Live. Grade 10 students, let's enjoy the different activities which I prepared for all of you. Before we start, let us first be reminded once again with the protocols to follow during the live streaming class. 1. Respect everyone 2. No hate speech 3. Be guided with the anti-cyberbullying law 4. No promotion of products or items 5. Use appropriate words in giving suggestions, comments, and queries 6. After the FB live streaming, attend discussion class in the FB Messenger classroom with your subject teacher. I hope everyone will be guided by the protocols for us to maintain the orderliness during our session. So allow me to give you the competencies that you are about to learn in this video. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to engage us in moderate to vigorous physical activities for at least 60 minutes a day in and out of school. Express us a sense of purpose and belongingness by participating in physical activity-related community services and programs. Before you get fully excited, you may want to participate in our short activity by typing your answers in our comment section. Challenge yourself in a five-item quiz. As I read the following statements, you have five seconds to write the letter of the correct answer. Question number one. In four elements of hip-hop, this was one of the first genres of music to really get innovative with beat drops and was the genre that brought record scratches and beat matching to the forefront. A. MCing B. DJing C. Graffiti D. Breakdancing The correct answer is B. DJing Question number two. In four elements of hip hop, it is now known as rapping, spitting, and ciphering. A. MCing, B. DJing, C. Graffiti, D. Breakdancing. The correct answer is A. MCing. Number 3. An athletic style of street dance from the United States. A. MCing, B. DJing, C. Graffiti, D. Breakdancing. The correct answer is D. Breakdancing. Question number 4. Writing or drawings made on the wall or other surface, usually without permission and within public view. A. MCing, B. Street dance, C. Graffiti, D. Hip hop. The 
The correct answer is C. Graffiti. Question number 5. Beat making and turntablism was one of the founding pillars of hip hop. A. MCing. B. Street dance. C. Graffiti. D. Hip hop. The correct answer is D. Hip hop. Well done, Peabody's! It's nice that you have a good strategy of identifying different active recreation. Good job! I know you are all excited, but before we proceed with our lesson, do you remember the following dance you perform? Can you identify the following street dance? All you need to do is to identify the different street dances presented within 5 seconds. You may comment your answers in the comment box. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1 Wonderful! The correct answer is ati-atihan. Number 2 If your answer is mascara, that is right. Number 3. Excellent! The answer is sinulog. Number 4. If your answer is bangus, you are doing great! Number 5 If your answer is kadayawan, you are awesome! Number 6 If your answer is bread and flour, that is right! Did you know, Valenzuela City celebrated its founding anniversary every 12th day of November with festivities at its cultural center, Barangay Polo. The highlight of the occasion was the Bread and Flower Festival, where dancers in bread and floral themed costumes dance in the streets in honor of patron saint San Diego de Alcala, whose feast was also being observed on the same day. Legend has it that San Diego de Alcala, a Franciscan lay brother who lived in 15th century Spain and in whose honor the parish in Polo is dedicated, would smuggle pieces of bread out of the convent and gave them away to the poor. He was on his way out to do his usual act of charity. One day, when a suspicious superior stopped him and demanded that he show what was under his robe, as San Diego lifted the hem of his frock, something miraculous happened. What spilled out of his robe was not pieces of bread, but flowers. The San Diego de Alcala Parish Church was opened by Franciscan friars in 1627, four years after Polo, which has been a small city in Katanghalan, became a separate town. The town, three centuries later, will be the modern day. Valenzuela City. If you got six questions correctly, congratulations! Job well done! Let us have another activity, PA Bodies. This activity is entitled Guess the Movie. All you need to do is to identify the different movies presented on your screen. You only have five seconds to identify movies. So, are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1 If your answer is step up, you are correct. 
Let's proceed to number 2. If your answer is La La Land, you are awesome! Number 3 If your answer is in duck, you are magnificent. Number four. Take my hand, take a breath, pull me close, and take one step. Keep your eyes locked to my. If your answer is High School Musical, you are doing great! Well done if you got 4 answers correctly! Let's begin with our discussion. What is street dance? Street dance refers to dance styles that have evolved outside the dance studios. It is performed in streets, dance parties, parks, schoolyards, or in any available space. It is often improvisational and social in nature, encouraging interaction and contact with spectators and other dancers. A full street dance is a collection of various similar dance moves and styles put together into one practice and regarded as the same dance. Hip-hop is a cultural movement best known for its impact on music, in the form of the musical genre of the same name. It has its origins in the Bronx in New York City during the 1970s, mostly among African Americans and some influence of Latin Americans. There are four elements of hip-hop. It was Africa Bambata and Zulu Nation that first actually spoke about the four pillars of hip-hop culture. As many hip-hop heads, you can tell that it is mean old school to the point that it predates Snoop Dogg's a celebrity status even though people don't rap about them in the today's mixes. The truth is that there is no doubt that these four elements are just as relevant in modern hip-hop as they were back in the early 90s. DJing, beat making, and turntablism was one of the founding pillars of hip-hop. And any time that you hear a sick beat in a hip-hop track, you'll understand why. Hip-hop was one of the first genres of music to really get innovative with beat drops and was the genre that brought record scratches and beat matching to the forefront. Next, MCing, now known as rapping, spitting, ciphering, or rhyming. MCing is a very obvious mainstay in hip-hop culture. The original idea behind MCing is that it was originally a form of poetry that would discuss a lot of issues people were going through. A lot of kids who were growing up in inner city systems were able to find a positive outlet for their struggles, thanks to MCing. Rappers like Nas, also known for bringing positive lyrics into hip hop, making it a very popular outlet to help people avoid buckling to pressures of inner city life. To this day, MCing is the most visible pillar of hip hop. Break dancing. Breaking, also called break dancing or b boying, b girling, is an athletic style of street dance from the United States, while diverse in the amount of variation available in the dance. Break dancing mainly consists of four kinds of elements top rock, down rock, power moves, and freezes. Break dancing is typically set to songs containing drum breaks, especially in hip hop, funk, 
soul music, and breakbeat music. Although modern trends allow for much wider varieties of music along with certain ranges like tempo and beat patterns. Graffiti Both singular and plural, the singular graffito is rarely used except in archaeology. Writing or drawings made on a wall or other surface, usually without permission and within public view. Graffiti ranges from single written words to elaborate wall paintings and has existed since ancient times, with examples dating back to ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, and the Roman Empire. In modern times, spray paint and marker pens have become commonly used graffiti materials, and there are many different types and styles of graffiti. It is a rapidly developing form of art. Graffiti is a controversial subject. In most countries, marking or painting property without permission is considered by property owners and civic authorities as defacement and vandalism, which is a punishable crime. Citing the use of graffiti by street gangs to mark territory or to serve as an indicator of gang-related activities. Graffiti has become visualized as a growing urban problem. For many cities and industrialized nations, spreading from the New York City subway system in the early 1970s to the rest of the United States and Europe and other world regions. On the other hand, graffiti artists, particularly marginalized artists with no access to mainstream media, resist this viewpoint to display their art or political views in public locations. Hip-hop dance, on the other hand, refers to street dance styles primarily performed to hip-hop music or that have evolved as part of hip-hop culture. Hip-hop music incorporates several iconic elements, most notably DJing and rapping, along with these things like beatboxing, sampling, and juggling beats on turntables. Hip-hop dance is a dynamic genre that encompasses athleticism, flexibility, agility, creativity, and soul. This type of dance originated back in the late 1970s and early 1980s and has evolved tremendously since then. The old school of this type of dance started off mainly as breakdancing, which in and of itself, a truly dynamic and remarkable style of hip-hop. Street dance and hip-hop dance styles B-boying B-boying or breaking, also called breakdancing, is a style of street dance and the first hip-hop dance style that originated among Black and Puerto Rican youths in New York City during the early 1970s. A practitioner of this dance is called a B-boy, B-girl, or breaker. Although the term breakdance is frequently used to refer to the dance, b-boying and breaking are the original terms. It has four movements. First, top rock footwork, oriented steps performed while standing up. Second, down rock footwork, performed with both hands and feet on the floor. Third, freezes, stylish poses done on your hands. And last, power moves comprise full body spins and rotations that give the illusion of defying gravity. Popping was popularized by Samuel Boogaloo, Sam Solomon, and his crew, the Electric Boogaloos. It is based on the technique of quickly contracting and relaxing muscles to cause a jerk in a dancer's body. Popping forces parts of your body outwards, similar to an explosion within parts of your body. Popping also contracts muscles, but it is followed by relaxation that gives a jerking appearance of popping. Locking or Campbell Locking was created by Don Campbell Lock Campbell in 1969 in Los Angeles, California. It was popularized by his crew, the Lockers. Locking can be identified by its distinctive stop. It is usually performed by stopping the fast movement that you are doing. Locking your body into a position, holding it, and then continuing at the same speed as before. In locking, dancers hold their positions longer. The lock is the primary move used in locking. It is similar to a freeze or a sudden pause. A locker's dancing is characterized by frequently locking in place and other after a brief freeze moving again. Crumping is a form of dancing that originated in the African-American community of South Central Los Angeles, California, and is a relatively new form of the urban block dance movement. It is free, expressive, and highly energetic. 
most people paint their faces in different designs. Crumping is a dance style to release anger. It is reported that gang riots in the United States decrease because of crumping style. Tatting is a creative way of making geometric shapes, forming right angle using your body parts. The style was originally practiced by young funk dancers. It is derived from the positions people were drawn in. During the days of the ancient Egyptians, it is the positions seen in these portraits that have been adopted by dancers today. Tatting is a still a greatly respective move, and King Tot, aka Mark Benson, is widely acclaimed for its pioneering the style. Shuffling, the Melbourne Shuffle, also known as rocking or simply the shuffle. It is a rave and club dance that originated in the late 1980s in the underground rave music in the Melbourne, Australia. The basic movements of dance are a fast heel and toe action with a style suitable for various types of electronic music. Some variants incorporate arm movements. People who dance the shuffle are often referred to as rockers. Due in part to the popularity of shuffling to rock music in the early 1990s. Walking is an African-American form of street dance originating from the 1970s disco era of the underground club scenes in Los Angeles and New York City. Walking consists of stylized posing and fast synchronized arm movements to the beat of the music. Today, walking is a popular element of hip-hop dance. Let us have an activity. I want you to open your learning packet in PE, Module 3, Week 5 to 8, Activity 2, Dance, Dance, Dance. Direction. Create a simple dance routine for 2 to 3 minutes, applying common styles in street dance. 2. Observe atmosphere while doing the activity to avoid injuries. 3. Record your performance and submit it to your teacher. 4. Your performance will be rated according to the following criteria. Attitude, respect, initiative, and participation, dependability, execution, and observance of safety. Your performance will be rated according to the following. Submit your activity to your teacher through FB Messenger, Google Form, or any other media platform. Cinema 1, now showing Step Up 4. For your homework, you need to watch the movie entitled Step Up 4 in your lecture notebook and answer the following guide question. 1. What dance form is shown in the movie? 2. What is a street dance? 3. What is a hip-hop dance? 4. What particular movements or steps strikes you? Show them. 4. Can street dance and hip-hop dance improve fitness? How? 5. Can we use a street dance and hip-hop dance as our recreation activity? Why and how? Congratulations! You may proceed now to the next level of learning. And for your assignment, answer the following. A. What dance styles, formerly known as vernacular dances, refer to dances that evolve outside of dance studios? B. What form of street dance is performed impromptu in a large crowd? C. What culture is created by DJing, rapping, breakdancing, and graffiti art? D. What dance style is primarily performed to hip-hop music and have evolved as part of hip-hop culture? E. What hip-hop style is based on the technique of quickly contracting and relaxing muscles to cause a jerk in a dancer's body? Remember PE Bodies, street dance refer to dance styles that have evolved outside the dance studios. It is performed in street dance parties, parks, schoolyards, or in any available space. It is often improvisational and social in nature, encouraging interaction and contact with spectators and other dancers. A full dance is a collection of various similar dance moves and styles put together into one practice and regarded as the same dance.
hip-hop is a cultural movement best known for its impact on music in the form of the musical genre of the same name. It has its origins in the Bronx in New York City during the 1970s, mostly among African Americans and some influence of Latin Americans. Hip-hop culture is composed of the pillars such as DJing, rapping, breakdancing, and graffiti art. Hip-hop dance, on the other hand, refers to street dance styles primarily performed to hip-hop music or that have evolved as part of hip-hop culture. Hip-hop music incorporates a number of iconic elements, most notably DJing and rapping, along with these things like beatboxing, sampling, and jogging beats on turntables. And that's all for today's lesson, Grade 10 students. Thank you for tuning in to FB Valenzuela Live. Learn more and work out with me in our next lesson. Once again, this is Teacher Rodel L. Rafon of Pignay National High School saying goodbye for now and see you next time. Ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Ingat!